friends, this is Mary from Mom Behind the Computer. I wanted to stop by today and bring you along with me as I set up my January 2020 calendars in OneNote. Um, I had originally thought I was just going to stick with a simple bullet journal style in OneNote, which worked really well for me um, up until, actually it worked really well for me the entire year that I tried it last year. I think I started in like April um, and that worked really well when I used it. Um, but I tried a different format earlier in the week um, where it's more of a planner layout, more of a weekly like Erin Condren, happy planner style layout. And I'm really liking it. I played around with it. Um, I'm really liking being able to kind of see everything on one page and easily add in photos and, and things like that. Um, so I think I'm going to try that for January, kind of see how it goes. And I want to go ahead and have all four weeks of January set up um, so that I can add in things as I need to. And then we'll see how it goes. I also have it set up in a bullet journal style, and I may use that for journaling um, and forward planning. So that's the one thing I really love about the bullet journal format is you can really move ahead <laughs> and kind of see an overview of your entire month at a glance, um, whereas I really like being able to put in a lot of details for the the weekly planner. So I'm going to try it and see how it goes. And I wanted to bring a lot, bring you along with me as I set it up in OneNote um, because there is some setup that will need to be done. So I'm going to put, put you guys on my screen and uh, we'll see how it goes. In my little planner supplies area, um, because that is where I've set up one, a whole thing of stickers and things like that into um, a bunch of templates. So that's where I'll kind of be working and then I'll move it into my planner area. Um, so I did three templates to kind of pick from this year. One is the year at a glance, which I'll be using for um, some different items. There we go. Um, which I'll be using for some different items, just sort of long term over the year tracking. Um, I started using this for uh, planning some things for my book release, um, which I'll probably discuss about in a different um, in a different area. And then um, I I have some ideas. I actually watched a really great video by um, I believe her name's Heather Kell um, from Kell of a Plan and she had like 50 awesome ideas for using a, a a template like this um she actually used it in her happy planner a physical one um and try as i might i just struggle with paper so i wanted to set up my own template which i have here um and then i'll show you guys the bullet journal template um, i already started planning out the first week before i tried the other template um so this is kind of how it works i put the big things that i I need to work on in advance here, um, things that I need to schedule through the month and things like that. So I um, really need to start planning our vacation in Bible school at church. I am um, the children's uh, ministry director there. And actually, um, since I'm going to be having a baby, God willing, in um, spring, I need to make sure that I kind of have it all planned because I know those first months of summer, I'm not going to want to plan anything. I need to have as much done as I can. So um, I kind of set that as a tickler for around 1.15 um, because I wanted to give myself enough time to get back to it. Um, so what I'll do is when that time comes that I want to plan on scheduling it, I would just click and drag. So, you know, and I could take off the date. Um, that was just sort of in my 2020 section and I dragged it to January when I was done. So um, let's put that back for now. And then I need to check on my PO box. Um, that's something I don't do nearly as much. Um, and so I planned for this upcoming week, um, which you'll be seeing this after, <laughs> but, uh, um, so we have new year's day. Um, my hubby's going to be off and I need to, um, our little girl's nickname is mud pie. Um, so we call her muddy a lot <laughs> and I need to, um, she really loves, getting haircuts and she's been asking for one. I told her to wait until after the holidays. Um, and actually the past two years, we've just somehow planned one for January 1st. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that again this year. My sister-in-law's birthday is on Friday. So I want to make sure to wish her a happy birthday. And we may be taking a quick trip to Gatlinburg. Um, and so I already put that on there. As you see, I didn't put anything else here um, because I, I don't know how, 
I think I'm just going to do like long-term planning here and journaling. Journaling works really well in here for me. I just kind of put what we did for the day and uh, a picture or two, um, and then I can kind of file it away. So I think that's what I'm going to use this for. Um, since I, it's really easy to kind of set up with a spreadsheet. Um, I'll show you really quick. Let's see here. Um, so what I do when I'm setting up the bullet journal, if you like this style, um, is so you see Wednesday is the first. So I'm going to put Wednesday 1, 1, 20. And then I set up like three of these. So Thursday 1, 2, 20. And Friday 1, 2, no, 1, 3, 20. And then I just highlight the three of those and I do the fill. So you grab the little box and you kind of fill it there and look it automatically magically. I love when people say that automatically it does it for you. Um, now, if you copy and paste this as it is, it's going to go ahead and take in those cells, which may be something that you want. I like being able to click and drag things. So what I actually do is um, I copy this, I put it in like a text formatter just so it's straight text and then I put it into my OneNote. Um, but that actually works um, really well in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and try that for my weekly template to see if I can set it up another way. I'm not sure I can or not. So let me show you my weekly template. Um, and I'm going to show you this in full screen actually because this is why I love it. I can see almost everything in a full glance. I went ahead and put a screenshot of January down here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it or not. Um, I, I eventually want to be able to figure out a good way to sort of link the pages, and I'm not sure what that's going to be. But up here, I have the days of the week, um, and then I left a spot in, um, to put a picture. Um, I have some personal stuff on the one that I already set up, so I, I'm not going to show you that right now. But like I put a bit emoji there that said happy 2020. Um, I like being able to personalize it just a little without too much pressure. So happenings here is going to be um, like things that we're going to do for that day. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put bullets in each of these because I like having bullets there. And if they're already there, um, it makes it so much easier to fill in from my phone. Um, so I don't recommend setting up anything in besides a basic document or um, taking a picture in OneNote on your phone because it just doesn't have the functionality in, that I found. I use iOS everything now, actually. <laughs> um, so I use a, an iPhone, um, an iPad, and my Mac here. Um, but you can also do this in a web browser. You can also do this. It actually works better probably on um, a Windows device. It probably works better on the Android if I had to guess, um, just because of the rivalry between those two companies. But anywho, the point being, if you set it up either on an iPad or um, a uh, computer, then you can very easily update it from a phone and review it on a phone. Um, it's just setting it up on the phone doesn't doesn't work for these bigger things here. So um, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to add for the template. This is just going to be like a miscellaneous box that I can use. Um, so for this week, for example, because we may be taking a trip on these days, um, I put in things I need to remember for our trip. Um, and then these are tasks. So tasks that I need to do each day. And actually, I have some that I do every day. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in um, so that they will go along with the template when I do that. So um, I do my virtual assistant work and then I also do a virtual assistant check-in. Um, so I try to spend about 15 to 20, sometimes 30 minutes just checking in um, at another time in the day. And then I also always do at least a load of laundry and at least a load of dishes every day, um, except for the weekends kind of get a little dicey. But um, that's the goal. So uh, let's put those in and you can just kind of, let's see here. Hold on. Oh dear. All right. Not that. What am I doing? There we go. And I like to put those in a different section because um, I want like the random tasks to sort of stand out a little bit more. Let's see. So it helps apparently if you put a space at the end of your checklist. We don't need those. 
sometimes it's, this feels like my fault here. There we go. Um, that I just don't use this enough. So um, let's put those in and then we'll delete these two checkboxes. Uh, there we go. So I'm not sure exactly why it does that. There we go. Sometimes, but um, if you just keep playing with it, it tends to work eventually. <laughs> And to be fair, um, while I do use OneNote quite a bit, I haven't used it in this way a lot. Um, okay, and Saturday is actually my Sabbath. Um, so uh, I think it's super important to take a day um, and sort of focus on God and, and rest and things like that, like God says in the Bible. He really knew what he was talking about when he said that. Um, so Saturday is my Sabbath, so I don't focus on any of those things. Um, sometimes, obviously, laundry and dishes will get done if they have to. Um, I don't work on that day at all and things like that. I used to always take it on Sunday, which is, I think, the traditional day for most Christians. Um, but I started teaching Sunday school, and so I am. it feels like a work day. And so um, it was really, well, obviously, I focus on God a lot that day while I'm teaching. Um, it it's really hard to kind of just take that time to rest so i moved it to saturday um, and that seems to work a lot better so i've got those in and i think let's go ahead and tighten that up a little let's see so the one thing about using there we go one thing about using these uh, boxes is it makes them look really great, but if you have extra spaces in one of them, it just kind of goes. <laughs> so, um, all right, I am going to, let's see, what else? Meals, I've been trying to decide if I really want to put like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and or if I just want to kind of leave it free-flowing. Um, no, I'll go ahead and put in breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And I do want that to go ahead and be a little bit bigger. Um, but I'll take out a couple of spaces. As you're typing, if you use this in a typing way, as you're typing, it'll expand. Um, so that's not a big deal. I think I will primarily use typing, but I did do a test last night when I was just sort of hanging out. And it didn't work bad when I was on my iPad to sort of zoom in and write. Like I was really surprised at how well it fit. Um, so that's a possibility too. If I'm just feeling like writing that week, um, I can do that as well. So I may, if I do, the meal area definitely needs to be expanded so that it's big enough for that. Um, and that is something that is not, it's easy to do on the iPad, I'm finding. I think that there's just something I'm not getting, but um, I'm not sure. So again, something I just need to play around with. I'm sort of new at all this. Okay, so nothing needs to go in the gratitude. That's just for all journal. My gratitude for the day. So we've got happenings, we've got tasks with our everyday tasks on top of it um, that are not routine. I also like make my bed and things like that. That's sort of ingrained in me, um, but I still, need the gratification of checking off even though i've done my va work for like six years that's not um that's not something i need to be prompted about but it feels really good when i check it off there's breakfast lunch dinner um over here like i said I have a spot for an image i have a spot for random things um to do this week so this is where i will put like tasks that need to get done sometime in the week but i don't have them scheduled for a day and then i can either drag them over and schedule them um, by like copy and paste, or I can just mark them off when I get a chance to do them. Here is, um, I'm really hoping to get back to meal prep. Um, I am finally at the point where cooking doesn't always make me feel sick. Um, sometimes it does, but not always. Um, so I want to put the things that I want to meal prep here. Then there's the calendar. Um, so I think we're good there. So the main thing I'm going to be setting up now is, um, the days of the week and so let's go into here. We're going to copy, copy page two. Actually, that's, that's where we want to put it for now. Um, and so you see it's copied down there and we're going to need how many weeks are there? So that's one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. So let's copy again to templates. 
That's one, two, three, four, five. Um, so because I already have one set up in my planner, so that's the rest of the time. All right, so let's see here. Um, let's put that back. Let's zoom that in a little, but not that much. Um, so another thing is that you can zoom in more if you want more, which is pretty awesome. So this week, I, I just put the week of um, the dates of the week up here. So that's 1, 5, 20, 2, 1, 11. Oops, no, because the planner is running from Monday to Sunday. It'll be 1, 6 to 1, 12, 20. Oops. Okay, and so I need to put in 6, 20. All right, I'll speed this up so that you guys can just sort of hang out while I do this because it's probably not fun to watch in real time. Okay, so I think that does it, assuming I didn't make any other typos. <laughs> um, so then at this point, what I'll do is I will highlight all of these um, and move them, move the pages to my planner, uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. The only other thing that I really wanted to do is figure out an easy way to move to allow like easy clickable links, which is, again, easy enough to do. Um, I just don't know the best way that I want to set it up. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking what I want to do. I don't really want to expand that box. Yeah. Okay. So I think I might do that, but I'm not going to keep you guys on here. I actually have to go take care of some other stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do as far as that goes. Um, if this works and if I really like using this format, then what I'm going to do is um, I'll bring you guys back for February and do it again. Um, so you guys can see what changes I've made and how I do that. Um, and then I'll show you guys this if I'm doing that then. Um, but I do really like that. That is very slick. It takes a little bit of time, but I'm thinking the second time around it might not if I'm not experimenting as much. Um, so this is what I'm going to try for January. I might do some plans, plan with me's or at least maybe one and show you guys kind of how I fill it out for the month. Um, but I'm super excited about this. This is kind of what I've been, um, what I think will work really well, I'm hoping. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to try it. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out with me while I design this, um, this planner and set it up for 2020. Um, and uh, if this is, if these are sort of things you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Um, I'm hoping to, in the future, do some more videos about OneNote. Um, it's a really awesome uh, service that's free. <laughs> uh, I do pay a little bit for storage just because I have so much in here, but um, it's completely free and I used it free for many years. Um, and I love that you can sort of make these clickable links in between notes and things like that. It's I'm hoping to have some tutorials like that in the future. Um, and so if you'd like to see stuff like that, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. I also talk about um, business life on the computer um, as a virtual assistant and mom life behind the computer when I'm not on the computer um, as a mom to one five-year-old and a little baby on the way. Um, so thank you all so much, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.